special program for a special news bulletin. Here is Jennifer Jones from the radio station WDIA. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a special edition of America's Most Wanted. Tonight, we take an in-depth look at a special case of sexual harassment. Gertrude Jones, better known as Delaware Dubs. Gertrude is wanted for defrocking male citizens. Gertie, often seen with scuba gear hanging around swimming pools, is also a local at Ralph's Pool Hall. We will take an in-depth look. We are live at Ralph's Pool Hall, the last place where Gertie was seen. Right now we'll have an in-depth conversation with Nigel. Nigel from Australia. Good day, mate! Good day! Good day! <laughs> You know, this, this girl, Gertie, I've seen her a lot, you know, I was down on the beach the other day, just surfing, that's all, just surfing, she, I, I, I swam out to shore, I lost my board, and there she was, she had my board under her arms and she was walking away with it, so she walked running up these bushes, you know, on her outback, and now, and, you know, yeah, she walks, I walked back there to find my board, and next thing I know, she raped me, <laughs> but, but that's not it, that's not all of it, I've got a couple of other, Approached me out, she <laughs> got me around the neck like this, threw me down on the ground and said, boy, I want you. <laughs> That's sad. Well, I've got a couple of Aboriginal friends, Kiwi and Ubon. They've tracked her from one end to the other in Australia. And there are reports of her doing this, you know, everywhere. I'm not, I'm not alone. Well, I'm not alone. There's got to be more of you out there who had this happen to you, right? You know who I'm talking about. If you have been a victim of Gertie, Please contact the radio station. We need to know where she is right now. We've got to find this chick to stop her now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you giving me that story. I'm sure it was upsetting. Right now, we'll speak with Cookie the Cocktail Waitress. She's a close personal friend of Gertie. She meets with her often. Cookie, how did you meet Gertie? You're in her way. <laughs> I am the waitress here. Come here. Speak to the microphone, please, here. I know it's hard. I am the waitress here, <laughs> and she comes... And almost every night, she is a great tipper. She's a great tipper? Is she normally friendly? Not usually. Does she go for men normally? Yes. Okay, thank you. We're we'll join Terry Jones with a special live report with Gertie's son, Jimmy, who is in disguise to protect his own self. They are having a private meeting in an undisclosed place. Terry, take it away. We're here live with an interview with Gertie's own son in this private, secluded spot. We're going to try to find out just what is behind Gertie and her mind. Thank you, Jimmy, for meeting with us. Is Gertie your mother? Right. How is this all affecting you? Uh, no, it don't affect me too much until I walk around the streets of, uh, of Oberhobeth and I'll see all the men walking around with suspenders and stuff holding, trying to hold her pants up so she can't pull them down. <laughs> does, this, does this upset you? No, I'm, I'm perfectly normal, nothing wrong with me. Hi, my name is Don. I'm filling in for Terry. We had to rush her to the emergency room for, for this episode, but I will carry on for you. Here I am going to interview Gertie's doctor. Hi. Hello. I am Dr. Casey Ruth. I have been working with Gertie for years, and I've always known there was a problem. So when she was only 15, she was dropped on her head very hard, and she hasn't been the same since. <laughs> if she is not found, soon she could influence ladies all over the world. Sex, sex, sex. She must be found. Men, look out. Hello. Anyone <laughs> seeing this woman? Please, I'm what? here at Ralph's just Pool Hall. We have just found well, the latest victim of Gertrude like Jones. Uh, please, <laughs> if anyone out there find this lady, please She's call us immediately. I was, I was walking up to the pool hall, and this step van came out, and and this lady asked me for a light, and next thing you know. I was in the van, and she, she, she was everywhere. I, I, I tried to stop her, but she's a wow. Please, please report her. If anyone sees Gertrude Jones, turn her in. Thank you, Ladies gentlemen. That number is one eight hundred. Stop Gertie. Please call twenty four hours we a day. We I've known Gertie for a long time. We've been through a lot together. She pulled me out of a fight at the Purple Moose, and I, I owe her my life. But 
Watch it, mate. I'm playing pool. Get out of here. <laughs> Aussie scum. <laughs> I remember when she went bad. Yeah, she's, uh, she's of the old school where when people trusted each other. But she was down at a booth at Indian River Inlet one day, and this... This oriental couple were there, and their, their little daughter started pulling apart one of her afghans, and uh, when the woman couldn't speak English and offered Gertie a pack of Japanese cigarettes in return, the next thing you know, that little kid was shark material. I haven't seen her much since then, but deep down, she's a good egg. A brown no. and <laughs> I am so mad because this is Gertie's dog, and she sends the dog in here to get beer all the time, and she is nowhere in sight, and the poor dog is 12, drunk. 14, 14 and I'm looking for Gertie. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Dustin. We are going to find Gertie tonight. Here we are. We're in Rouse Pool Hall. We're going to go. We're with Pa. Pa, you hang out here a lot. I see you. How do you feel about Gertie? Yeah, I know Gertie. I, she didn't used to be so bad, but... You know, she, it's a real sad case. She's a, she's a tragic case, you know. I think it started when she started hawking that, uh, that knit, that crochet stuff down on the beach, you know, down there at the inlet, like some kind of Jamaican. She'd walk along with these blankets all over her and everything. I, I think she needed the money for dope or something. And then she, and then she like, she started to get in with a bad crowd, this, this biker gang. They called themselves the Senior Citizens Club, but I don't know. They seemed pretty wild. They were a bunch of vicious old ladies. And she got a job at this topless joint up there in the, near the Air Force Base in Dover. And, man, she just went from hell to, hell to Hanover. And, I mean, we don't want her around here. She makes us nervous. We're afraid to walk home alone at night, you know? We, i got to go with my buddies. I won't go by myself no more. Okay, thank you. We're, we're going to find her, sir. Don't worry. I hope you do. And I hope they put her away forever. She's okay. a menace. We'll find her. Thank but you. But it's sad. It's sad. Thank you. We're back here at Ralph's Pool Hall, and we found the cop with us, Gertrude. Right. Right. We'll we'll friend. Keep going. We'll Brenda, keep going. Brenda, Brenda over here. We know she knows where Gertrude oh, well. is, so we're going to go no interview part. her now. No Brenda, yeah, we know you're close friends with Gertie. Tell us about her. Oh, yeah, I like her. Well, she's, she's not bad. She's not bad cookie she's dog. I mean, you know, it's the men they ask for. It's the way they dress. No, you're bloody wrong. You're bloody hey. wrong. The men, hey. you know, I, I have my regular surfs on, you know. No! God damn it, man! What do you think it is? I'm gonna pull off on no, you! No, no! Quit it now! What do you have to say about that? She's bloody wrong! Go get she's her, bloody go wrong! Get her, I think she's wrong too. Get her! It's Cookie. I'll worry about that. I'll take care of you first, too. I gotta get rid of her first. Ralph's pull her. I served her all night long and had to cut her off. But you know I missed the tip she leave me. You see this woman, please call. When one eight hundred get Gertie. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm supposed to be your friend. I can't do that. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll say, get, 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 get,